so uh, hello, uh, hello. Takashi Sensei. Uh, you have been one of the pioneers of uh, the the stem cell therapeutic field. Uh, you are both mm -hmm. uh, a, a medical doctor in ophthalm ophthalmology. You are also a researcher and uh, an entrepreneur. And so you've been starting uh, the first uh, medical uh, the clinical trial uh, based on the APSC uh, in uh, in the AMD field in 2014. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. You you are also a, a, a Rican professor and and uh, you have started uh, the uh, a startup uh, Vision Care in 2019. So you clearly have a very unique uh, vantage point on how that has been done in, in that field and for, for, uh, for quite some while. So one of the first questions I would like to, to ask you is uh, what has been uh, moving forward in the last 10 years and how do you mm -hmm. see the field uh, progression in, in that time frame? Okay, so the regenerative medicine, can I talk about five minutes or so about it? If that yes, is yes, it's okay. Question. Okay, so so the regenerative medicine or cell therapy is a quite new field, and we in Japan we have uh, uh, laws for regenerative medicine specify because it's a third category, drug and the apparatus, medical apparatus and the cell therapy or gene therapy. So we have three chapters in the pharmaceutical affairs law. Because um, uh, the cell therapy done by the injection, in, uh, intravenous injection is like a drug. Yes. But ours are really replacement therapy. So the uh, surgery is always combined. So it's a surgical treatment development, not the drug development. So they usually the uh, drug once they uh, the company uh, approved the uh, end products it is equal treatment, but the cell therapy is not. The, there's a gap between the end product and the treatment. So gradually, this uh, ten years since I did the first clinical application of IPS cells we learned that gap by three clinical research. And now I think our group at least uh, understand the gap and uh, solve, solve the gap. And now it's time to make a real treatment. So I made a startup and do the uh, uh, development. So, so for you then, uh, what are the, the, the remaining uh, challenges uh, on, on, that, on the way for commercial for products mm -hmm. because you are really in that position? Um, I made myself the company because, uh, as I said, we should uh, solve the gap and uh, unless it will be a, a very expensive gamble because if the drug, small molecule drug of the uh, ordinary cost, uh, maybe it's okay to, uh, if it's ex effective only 60% or 50% because it's very cheap. But the cell therapy costs it very expensive. So the 60% effectiveness is not uh, enough other four, 40% uh, pays a lot and no effect. And that will um, su uh, suppress, uh, uh, will cause the stress about the uh, economic, medical economy. Yeah. So we should select the patients exactly and the surgical technique should be completed. So, um, I, I made a company because we should prepare from the clinical side, side also. And uh, so uh, we call it categorized medicine. 
not the personalized. Yeah. And we feel we should uh, we should change the concept of the disease name also. So currently, the the development of the drug is uh, uh, aiming for a big market, right? Pharmaceutical company try to get the biggest market, but that that means the uh, under the disease name. For example, age-related macular degeneration, many, many patients. But uh, there are uh, various cases we know. Uh, so we should categorize the uh, patients under the same name. So we have been prepared for that. And we talked with the um, ophthalmology society to, to let, let's... Um, make the concept of the disease a little bit changed, suitable for the cell therapy. And we should uh, uh, select the patients very much. So uh, we made a, a ophthalmology test and the uh, uh, efficacy test is also needed. Not the uh, ordinary test is not enough. So. And, and so it, we should make that. So, so it feels to we me like your yeah, sorry <laughs> sorry because of the delay. Uh, so so it, it it means to me uh, that that you are at the crossroads uh, between uh, because of the history of what you've done from autologous uh, allogenic and maybe there is a back and forth between the two. So how do you position uh, the? The, the, the future of of uh, of the the, the IPS derived cell therapy of the of the macular degeneration within that. So uh, as I said, even in the same name of uh, age related macular degenerations, one patient needs the wide big cell sheet, but another milder case needs the uh, small incision surgery with. Uh, scattered atrophy. So the treatment should be different mm -hmm. from case to case. So we are trying to make uh, uh, various type of treatment to 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 select uh, to to suitable for each case. Yes. And within ten years, we would like to treat all the cases, any cases of the age-related macular de degeneration, and also not only the age-related macular degeneration, but the RPE-impaired disease and the outer retinal disease. We are preparing various type of treatment. Yeah, so the, there is, there is a, a huge effort to really categorize patients mm -hmm. into subcategories that would benefit from a specific mm -hmm. way to, uh, to, to address the disease. And as I think especially in, in your case, you are well positioned to 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 be able to understand what's the best delivery method because you've been yeah. first hand uh, working with that so what 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 is to you the the, the challenges with that uh, the, the the like really going in as a surgeon uh, putting the cells uh, in the right mm -hmm. place uh, for for the right effect so do you have mm -hmm. something to share about that mm -hmm. So we are preparing, as I said, various type in the cell suspension and the cell sheet also. Yeah. And the, uh, those surgical technique, we need the uh, cell type, cell form, and the device, and the surgical technique. So those three should be prepared for each case. And we developed the uh, surgery with a clinical actual surgeon in the animal model. So even in the development, clinical team should be involved. And we prepared uh, already those uh, techniques. Yeah. So, so, uh, so as you said, uh, cell therapy is a very specific field where you don't mm -hmm. only design a drug, but you have to think ahead as to how to deliver uh, the product, how to segment the patients for mm -hmm. best fit uh, between the, the not only right. the cell product, the delivery, mm -hmm. but also the categories of patients. So that that's and the uh, teaching of the surgeons. Also. Yes, yes, 
very important. Uh, yeah. mm -hmm. And for you, it's, it's a bottleneck, like the capacity to have enough surgeons uh, capable of, of delivering uh, the, the product to, to patients? Yeah. Right. So the, usually people think about the market from the patient's number of the disease, but it's uh, not good. It's uh, uh, just an illusion, I think, because the surgical technique and the uh, suitable level surgeon's number and the surgical room's capacity is the limit. Yeah. Um... Yeah, I think it's really important to, to, to really have a global vision of how a, a product uh, brings uh, uh, something to the patient. So from, and, and that's very interesting because your expertise is really uh, far-reaching from research uh, through uh, uh, medical uh, issues and how to really uh, deliver such, uh, such a therapy. And also right now in, in the entrepreneur uh, part of, of what you do, and um, what, what would you also say uh, for that, that last part uh, in, in Japan, in your, in your own um, uh, experience of things, what could help uh, the transition uh, uh, for uh, like making a company and, and really uh, uh, putting a, a product on the market? How do you see uh, where help can, can, can come, where, where are the the hard points, so, so what, what's your experience with that? Oh, I, I always think our aim is the patient's benefit. Yeah. Then the many people support us and help us, even the Ministry of Health and the regulatory authorities help us. And it's important to, to we are making treatment, not the end of product. That's important. So uh, I still have the position in hospital and the company. So usually it's, it's called COI, right? Conflict of the uh, e interest. Yeah. But I feel now after two years of, uh, as a president, we think this is the right way to develop a medical treatment because I always think the uh, benefit of the company but also the benefit of not only the patients, but the hospital and the doctors and the ophthalmology field. So I will make the win-win relationship with the hospital, doctors, patients, and the company. That is the right way, I think, because nowadays the uh, benefit goes uh, too much to the company, I think. And the, Especially in Japan, the medical system is like that. So the, most of the cost goes to the company and the hospital will run the red figures. So we are uh, uh, designing a suitable medical system, not only the end product. Yes. Then, then that calls also the question of how to finance, because all of these developments uh, they, are, they are very expensive because it's a new field. Uh, it, there are complexities uh, that need to needs to be addressed. And as you said, it's not only not only a drug. It's it's a surgical procedure. It's a, uh, it's it's also the capacity to have doctors that are uh, trained to do that. So all of that uh, obviously entails uh, a lot of uh, of investment. Uh, and and how do you feel? Uh, uh, how do you feel the needs uh, to to fund um, to fund uh, sorry startups in in Japan are addressed? Do you feel it's 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 changing? Because for example, here in Europe, it's been changing a lot. Uh, you, there is an, some sort of an American model. There is mm -hmm. a European model to some extent, and there is also a Japanese model. So how do you feel uh, the 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 ecosystem is moving mm -hmm. for this capacity to to raise? Uh, uh, companies off the ground. So I heard that Europe goes to like a American system or finance is now good for the startups in Europe. And the Japan, Japan is a little bit late. For, and we, we have, I think they started to think we should put more money to the startups in Japan. So I think it will improve 
very much. It was just a reflection because uh, I, I, I'm actually very convinced that the, the Japanese ecosystem is really rich and, and very efficient uh, with developing uh, uh, these, uh, these therapeutics. Yeah. Yes. Oh, let me say one thing I noticed. So oh, we de developed the regenerated medicine mainly by a medical doctor. Yeah. That's the difference from other countries, I, I feel. Because the, uh, I once listened that the company, uh, cell therapy company, he said, said that how to involve the clinicians. And I was surprised to hear that because in Japan, clinic, clinicians are making regenerating medicine. Yeah. So until phase clinical stage, the medical doctors are doing that. So it's a very ecosystem, I think, because yeah. uh, in the United States, at that stage, already the startup needs much million, hundred million dollars, right? But during that stage, we do in academia with the uh, government funding, yeah. so very cheap. Yeah. Yeah. There's been a, a huge uh, push from the, from the Japanese government. Uh, to build mm -hmm. on the on the knowledge that has been developed in Japan to really move forward the 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 cell therapeutics that that come from that uh, from basically also from that Nobel Prize uh, from from <laughs> Shin, uh, Shin, yeah, well. Shin mm -hmm. I think uh, now a lot of companies are trying to blend the two strategies, not only mm -hmm. bringing cells or uh, bringing uh, viral vectors to correct cells in situ, but using uh, genetic editing to to make better cell yeah, products and and do yes. you have uh, do you see that happening in the in the uh, uh, in the eye mm -hmm. field yes yes of course the uh, from the beginning IPS cell is a uh, uh, gene yes. modified <laughs> cell and we already made a HLA knockout partially knockout IPS cell uh, clinical line and uh, also the retinal sheet treatment, we started the clinical application of uh, photoreceptor cells from last year. But already we made the next generation retinal sheet that was modified by genetic modification. Yeah. So it's combined yes. already. And so that, that's also a way uh, to bridge the gap between autologous and allogeneic. And how do you see the field moving? Because again, uh, all eyes are on Japan because Japan has been a, a pioneer of that. And, and how do you feel the field moving from uh, allogeneic to be, uh, uh, autologous, sorry, to begin with, uh, now uh, uh, allogeneic? And where do you see that blending in uh, in the near future? Yes, of course, the ordinary treatment, standard treatment should be allogeneic. So we made the HLA partially knockout allogeneic cell, and we are preparing for the clinical trial of that. But also the autologous treatment is the scientifically best treatment. So oh, we announced with the CYRA, the IPS cell center, that we will start the planning the autologous treatment again. And we are preparing also um, with combination with, uh, Syra announced that they will make uh, cheap cost IPS cells. Patients, uh, I mean the self IPS cells. And we were planning the autologous treatment again, so we discuss and we will do it together. So maybe two years later, we will restart the autologous treatment okay. because that's the best of the IPS cells. Yeah. So there is really a question of, of logistics behind it and also, as you said, of costs. Uh, but that's, uh, that's one of the, of the promise that has been there from the beginning, that you could have IPS cells your own IPSCs, so to speak, to, mm -hmm. to, to treat uh, your ailments. And, and how do you see that? Because, again, one of the other promises of IPSCs is the capacity to make basically all the cell types of the body. 
So how do the the, the Japanese uh, government see that, like thinking about making cell lines for patients because it could then lead to multiple uh, uh, pro products, so to speak, multiple uh, interventions uh, in the patient uh, along his, his life or her life? Uh, or is it really just focused right now on, on one product and not uh, a more comprehensive strategy of having a resource that could be used for many, um, many different products? So the high-rise concept is they will make a cheap people's own IPS cells and that will be used for various yes. diseases and the treatment in their life. Yeah. And I, I agree with that, really. And the, the direction might, must be like that, I think, when we reduce the cost of development. Yeah. In that sense, the regulation is the key point. And the regulation, way of thinking about the regulation should be changed a little bit. Yes. Yeah, yeah th there, is, there is one thing that I think is interesting when thinking about IPS, is that uh, the, the regulation has been made uh, thinking about uh, basically drugs that are molecules and that have mm -hmm. never been uh, uh, exposed to, to a patient's body. So we test in animals, we test in vitro, and then ultimately we test in, in clinical trials because there is an expectation that meeting uh, a, a new molecule with uh, the body may have uh, a, a unexpected effects. But to some mm. extent, uh, working with iPSCs and, and working with cells, it's not like there is a totally new uh, entity. The, the body yeah. already contains cells, right. especially if it's the, their own cells. So the, the regulatory outlook on that is probably uh, sh at some point should be uh, different. That's true. <laughs> Not many people say that, but I totally agree. Because it's a, a normal body's cells. And so the toxicity concept it should be different from the small molecule uh, pouring substances. Yes. Right? Yes. So we should re reconsider about the toxicity test and the everything. So if you think about the risk of the cells, if we can make the uh, authentic cells in the body, the risk is only the tumor, no other. So just that point. And yeah. the eye field, there are few tumors, so it's very safe. Yeah, from your point of view, uh, you said we have to to really bring something to the patient, uh, qualitative uh, approach, uh, and and then think about uh, the the broadening of the market. Uh, it feels to me like uh, we have uh, collectively uh, developed quite some expertise about how to differentiate the cells. We are mm -hmm. uh, getting better at understanding how to qualify the cells. Uh, but we are, in my mind, we still have some work about how to deliver and how to teach uh, uh, as many surgeons how to perform uh, the procedure. And how do you see that uh, rolling out? D does, it, does it have to be specific uh, master class or something like that for, for surgeons? Do you have a, a strategy for that? Yes, we already made a, a research committee about the regenerative medicine in uh, ophthalmology in, in society. And we talk about, it's important not only the surgery, but how to select the patient. We should, um, a training should be done for the ophthalmologist okay. because they don't know about the regenerative medicine. So now we are in Kobe Eye Center, clinical teams experienced very much. So they discuss how to select the patients and where to put the cells, how and where to put the cells in the retina. So such a training is very important. And uh, we already made a, a such working group in the ophthalmology society and many doctors uh, listen to our experience and 
now they understand the concept of the disease name and the, how to select the patient. And now we will prepare the training uh, system for the surgery. And, and Alongside, we need that, I think. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's re it's really important, and there there's also an international international dimension to that, having the capacity to to have uh, surgeons from different countries uh, being uh, taught how to how to perform mm -hmm. surgeries, and I think uh, again Japan is a is a leader in that field, and and uh, that would be probably uh, very interesting uh, to have mm -hmm. some uh, some. Uh, so if it works, I would like to spread or uh, talk about it globally and we are now making that such system in Japan. Yeah. That that's very exciting. Um I have I have one question. I, I always uh, end up uh, the interviews with with, with uh, a question as a researcher, what's your best uh, uh, best memory? But I think maybe we can break that down in in three for you because you are as a researcher as a mm -hmm. uh, uh, as a as a physician and uh, also as an entrepreneur, so maybe maybe you have like three three best yeah. moments to share. Yeah, the uh, not all all three, but the the best one is of course the first clinical ap application of the IPSL. The surgery was the most risk. So after the surgery, it was the most joy of our mind. But also last year. We did the photoreceptor transplantation clinical research, and that was the 25 years dream of mine from the uh, Salk Institute, where where I encountered the concept of stem cells. So that was a really a wonderful time after the surgery again, <laughs> and as an entrepreneur, after two years. As a president, I learned many business. I I'm now studying very much about the business, and but I think that the base is not different from yeah. doctors and researchers and the businessmen. So I found it. I thought I should be changed as a businessman, but now I feel. It's okay. I should. I can be myself yeah. <laughs> now. And recently, many people have sympathy with our company. So a very bright, smart young man will attend to our company. That's <laughs> that's another joy. Yeah, and and so there is, there is a continuity, and and you see now the the transition from everything you've done back in at the starting at the Solk then uh, at Riken and, and no uh, in in your own company you see you see that continuity and i think it's mm. uh, yeah yes that, that's, that's a whole cool. dream of 25 years yeah yeah so that so thanks a lot uh, to have uh, pioneered the way uh, uh, in the, in the cell therapy field uh, for for ipscs uh, thanks a lot for for being available uh, for that interview and uh, and I hope uh, hope to hear uh, from you uh, in the future uh, with the okay. developments of, of Vision Care. Okay, I, I enjoyed very much. Thank you very much. Thanks. Thank you.